perfume and Damien has gotten this for me as a birthday gift where I'm going to be doing a mix and match. I love you. Thank you. So I am smelling different fragrances and I'm going to be choosing my face note here. So I'm smelling all of them and I'm going to choose one and then put it into each. Oh, there we go, each beaker. So I have my Tijon Fragrance Lab Cheat Book, which I did not use, as well as my Mix and Match Formula Worksheet. All right, so I have to select one of the 12 oils, pre-mixed oils. And these are my top three that smell really good. I'm trying to go for that gardenia smell. I love gardenias. So now that I've done my base, I've chosen three essential oils. All right, and I'm going to be placing two drops of each into my first beaker. I found three other essential oils that I love, so I might end up making a completely different fragrance for the other two beakers. But let's just get started on this. When mixing oils, it is key to not mix and match the droplets, okay? It's one droplet for each jar. We do not want to contaminate anything. We don't want to mess it up for anybody else. So one droplet for each jar. Within the Tijon workbook, we have different oil blends as well as just different families that each oil belongs to. And you never want to put two of the same from one family together. Doing so will cause the perfume to last only five to 10 minutes. Who wants that? So I have finished creating my own special fragrance. This is my formula, and I'm calling it Happy Birthday. And just a just a general description, it's just going to be a light gardenia floral fragrance with a kick. And this is my special formula. Ah, you can't look. <laughs> but here are some other formulas that I did create. I do love these two. They're very similar but I went for an overall fresh scent versus, I'm sorry, an overall floral scent versus a fresh scent. And now we're about to bottle it up and take it home. Now that I have chosen Beaker One as the scent that I am going with today, I need to make more of it. So I'm gonna grab my droplet and I am going to add five milliliters of that main base oil, that 2027. Then after that, I'm going to take those three essential oils that I have chosen as well, and I'm going to add two and a half milliliters of each of those and place it into the beaker. Now, Ellen was able to come over and she added some distilled water as well as two other ingredients to my perfume. And then from there, I was able to funnel it into my perfume jar. <music> lifetime what I had ever thought that I would be making perfume. This was an amazing experience. I will definitely do this again. Thank you. Thank you.
very own customer for it. And happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. What you have done in the shop is like there was nothing done because of all the possible combinations of all the different oils. But we like to say that the smell is one of the most important for us because it takes you back to a memory. It takes you back to your grandmother's house or your first date. So hopefully every time that you smell your fragrance you make here today, you'll be around with the time in Tijan and the Charleston. Staying true to our French Korean roots, we like to toast to your health. Sante. Sante. Can't reach that far, but <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Damien, for a wonderful gift. I love you. Thank you, Mom, as well, for taking such good care of Vivian. Everything that you see here was a part of the package. I have my certificate of achievement, as well as a lavender scented bar of soap, a velvet carrying case. I was able to also take a copy of my custom formula. This way, whenever my perfume does run out, I can just call them up and request them to make me another one because they do keep it all on file. And this Pink House Charleston Signature Tijon fragrance was also a gift. It's giving me sweet magnolia vibes. All right, you all take care.